so in this way we have connected our hardware to the laptop so this is the usb cable which is connected to this pin in this board and power supply is not required to apply because through this data will be um, provided or bit file will be dumped as well as this um, power will be supplied to the board and this is what is the on off button it should be on so that the device will turn on at this moment i have already dumped the bit file and that's why i'm able to see this done bit on in your case before this uh, bit file is dumped this bz pin will be on so once file is dumped you will be able to see this green light at uh, green light at done meaning of that bit file is now dumped to this uh, fpga device and now this particular device will be acting as your 4 is to 1 mux now as per xtc file we have created that a pin of mux we have connected to v10 uh, b to the v11 uh, then c as a v12 sorry this is what u you need to remember that this is v10 this is u11 this is u12 and this is h16 now select lines i have connected to h16 and j15 and output i'll be observing at v11 now i have dumped this now check it when i am giving select line as a 00, zero a is getting selected so this is my a so at the output whatever input i have applied to a you are able to see so when a is 1 i am getting 1 when a is 0 i am getting 0 so it is not getting affected because of b c d so whatever input i am applying on a is getting selected so this is what first option when i am providing 0 1 so a is not getting affected output is not affected by a but when we are giving b so depending upon that i am getting b so if b is 1 you will be getting 1 if 0 you will be getting 0 same way for 1 0 c is getting selected so this is in this way and for 1 1 d is getting selected so like this so in this way implementation of 4 is to 1 mux using hardware has been done so thank you everyone